In this clip, we're going to begin looking at quadratic functions. And in this case, we're going to be graphing them. Let's take a look at this question on the left. We're asked to complete the table of values to graph y is equal to x squared. And then we're asked to describe the shape of the graph. Well, let's first see what we're given here. We're given a table of values, and we notice that our x values have been chosen for us. And the first two y values have been solved for. And remember how we solve for these y values. Using our equation y is equal to x squared, we replace this x here with each of these values to solve for the corresponding y value. So in this first case, we replace the x with negative 2. And then our y became negative 2 squared, which is equal to 4. So the first point we're going to plot will be the point negative 2, 4. And then something similar was done down here. Our x in this equation was replaced with negative 1. And our y became negative 1 squared, which is equal to 1. So the second point we're going to plot is the point negative 1, 1. So let's finish completing this table of values before we plot anything. When x is 0, our y will become 0 squared, which is simply 0. When our x is 1, our y becomes 1 squared, which is simply 1. And then finally, when x is 2, our y becomes 2 squared, which is 4. So we now have five points that our graph will go through. So let's plot these to get an idea of the shape. So our first point was the point negative 2, 4, which is over here. Our next point was the point negative 1, 1, which is right here. Our third point was the point 0, 0, which remember we call the origin, and that's this point right here in the middle. And then we have the point 1, 1. And finally, we have the point 2, 4. So now that we've plotted our five points, let's connect them with a curve. And there's our curve. So how would you describe the shape of this graph? Well, it sort of looks like the letter U. So down here, we wrote the graph is a U-shaped curve. And we call these types of curves parabolas. So commit this new term to memory. And that now finishes off this problem. So go ahead now and try this question that's appeared on the right. And here's the solution. Notice here that we again got a U-shaped curve as our graph. So once again, this is called a parabola. As a final note, I want to say that any function with an equation that looks something like this will be a U-shaped curve, which we'll call a parabola. The important thing here is that we have a term that has an x squared in it. You may or may not have a term with an x, and you may or may not have another term that's simply a number. For example, here we just had a term with x squared, and over here we had a term with x squared and another number. But in both cases, we got these u-shaped curves, which are called parabolas. And this is what is meant by a quadratic function, that will have a term with x squared in it that will give us a graph that looks like the letter U. So keep that in mind.